Welcome back to the third episode of Vlogmas. A big hello if you're new and a special welcome back if you are an existing viewer. It's really good to have you here. So today is Friday the 13th of, September, of December. I have no idea where the days are going, where the weeks are going at the moment. It is incredibly scary. So today I'm working from home. I have had a mega busy week and then today it's all about the admin and catching up so I've got a lot of stuff to do so I'm gonna have my head down working away for most of the day but there are a couple of errands I need to run later so I do need to make a trip to Matalan and to Home Bargains and I really need to get Daisy a new winter coat and some Christmas presents as well so I was debating taking her to Pets at Home later we will see because Daisy often kicks off in there and Daisy usually does she starts to scream and draw lots of attention to herself so we'll see maybe you know if she's getting older that behavior stopped but before I do that there's something I want to show you I've taken delivery of something this morning I have since ordered my parents one as well because I thought they might like it as a Christmas present slash housewarming gift as well and um, it's very aromatherapy based and I'm thinking it might help my mum sleep she has real trouble sleeping so I'm going to show you what I've got just now come and have a look so I got this lovely box from Neom um, Organics in London sorry I've just put my hand over my address I've just realized it there so I'm just going to open it's packaged beautifully there we go so this is how it's all set out it's all about natural fragrances to boost your well-being and you get this um, personalised little book so obviously welcome to Neom Lisa which is so so sweet so it tells you a lot about the product and obviously gives you discount codes and things like that so yeah I'm looking forward to my mum and dad receiving that and then essentially I've bought a well-being pod and for essential oils so you've got here four different types so you've got one for distressing you've got one for happiness there is one for relaxation and then sleeping I believe as well which is very lavender based and then you I've got this I can smell them already they smell unbelievable and then I got the well-being pod so I'm going to take it out and show you what that exactly is Oh my, the wrapping and presentation of this is beautiful. <laughs> so there you go. Um, it comes with, you know, your whole host of instructions. And this is the actual pod. And um, so I'm trying to get it out with one hand. Bear with me. Gosh, that took some doing, even with two hands. It is wrapped up, but it has um, a light. And I do believe um, it has a bit of sound effect to it as well but it's it's lovely it's in this really really attractive white with a bit of a gold trim on it um it obviously you plug it into the mains i do have a diffuser which i showed you um a little while back um and it's great i do i do use it but i just think this is probably the next level up from that i mean it might not be any different to be honest i mean obviously the price of it is significantly more i link this in the comments box for, for those of you who might be interested it went out of stock for a while and I couldn't get it so um, yeah I'm going to put that on actually and uh, have that on while I work and I'll, I'll let you know how it goes there it is doing its thing it is so pretty so I've put the light on um, I don't know how well this is translating but it's got uh, neon on a uh, on there so you can sort of see that glowing it's made out of ceramic ceramic it really is very well made so i've got the light on on a low setting and yeah i've put the energizing aromatherapy oil in so this is sicilian lemon and basil and it smells divine so hopefully it will give me a little bit of energy i am back it's just gone four o'clock i have finished working and yeah, I need to get out and, and do something. Yeah, I've gone a little bit brain dead. I feel not fabulous, actually. I've had um, 
a bit of a, a funny week with migraines and such like so I've not been 100% and then obviously work's been incredibly busy so it's stuff I've had to do so I've kind of pushed through <laughs> so to speak so I've got to the point now where I am literally ready to drop however I have got a 25% discount voucher for Matalan so I do need to go up and pick up some bedding I ordered online so I need to pick up that and then I thought I'll have a little mooch around in Matalan to see if there's anything I can spend my 25% discount on. How stupid is that? I'm actually going to buy something that I don't really need to get 25% off but you know you can have a look can't you? You know it would be rude not to and then I need to pop to home bargains for a few bits and pieces um i have baked a christmas cake so i need things to decorate it with and i need a storage box and such like so i thought i'd have a little look around that there may be an extra impromptu um matalan slash home bargains haul coming at the weekend possibly I'll de it depends on what i buy from there and then i might take this one who's down here to get a coat but I would pop to Matalan first. I don't think I'll take you with me because I think it'll be pretty busy, but I will take you to the pet shop later and we'll see if we can get Daisy a coat. So I will see you later. Take care, bye. So I'm back, it's about 6.30. I went to Home Bargains and Matalan and I'll do an upload for you probably Sunday morning I'm thinking to show you what I bought so that'll be a little bonus video that goes up which you will see long before you see this one so I've decided not to take this one to uh, Pets at Home tonight I'm going to do it tomorrow I am really tired I'm not feeling great I can feel like the the flickerings of another migraine coming on so i thought you know the last thing i need is daisy screaming her head off in pets at home so i'm going to do that tomorrow night i'm at the hairdressers tomorrow um i'm getting my hair cut so i'll be looking a little bit smarter then anyway so i'm going to love you and leave you for tonight and i'll catch up with you tomorrow take care lots of love bye good morning it's saturday the 14th so today is a hair appointment day so i'm going to get my hair done later so i'm not bothering with it so much now i've just put some dry shampoo through it because it should have been washed really uh this morning but you know when you think well i'm going to get it done this afternoon so i've got a hairdresser appointment and i'm just about to take daisy for a bit of a wander so today's not a bad day i think the weather's going to change here in the uk so we are forecast snow actually for tomorrow morning so that's going to be interesting um but i've got a couple of things i need to do today after i've been to the hairdressers so I need to film a um, haul video. So last night I went to Home Bargains and Matinon, like I told you, and I picked up a few bits. So I'm going to share those with you. That haul, you'll see that haul before you see this, because that'll be going up, I think, tomorrow morning. So I need to get all of that edited. And then, yeah, I've got to pick up a couple of bits. So I'm making a Christmas cake this year, and I need a container to store it in. Um, once I've decorated it so I need to try and find something so I'm probably going to have a quick run to the range when I've had my hair done just to see if I can find the container I'm looking for essentially so first I'm going to take Daisy for a walk then I've got housework to do and then the hairdresser so I will um, yeah well come on the walk with us and then I'll have a bit more of a chat when I get in the car to go to the hairdresser so it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe oh god it's one of those you can see the blue sky behind me it's um really bracing and cold but it's uh oh, it's one of those perfect winter days it's gorgeous i love it uh, so i'm really enjoying this this is just what i needed i think warm is on its way but as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you Thanks a little bit and they're on full blast Oh my god it's cold It's a beautiful day but oh it's so cold So I'm on my way to the hairdressers thankfully So I've managed to do my hair a little bit So 
don't mind me I've got my phone attached it's just like having somebody in the car with you because uh, I know some people get a bit concerned about phones in cars and stuff like that but it's um, literally hands-free out of the way and I'll just press a button to stop it recording when I am done so yeah as I said I'm off to get my Christmas hairdo um, and then I need to pop to the shops my mum is in hospital um, it's nothing serious it's a planned procedure so she's been having a lot of what we what we thought was knee pain and we went to see an orthopedic surgeon well she did um, and I went with her because obviously I know that group of people really well from a previous job I've done so we went to see um, a local orthopedic surgeon who thinks it's actually her hip that's causing her the problem so he's done a hip joint injection on her today so she's just phoned me to say it's all gone very well obviously she's had sedation so she's away with the mixers a little bit and had the same conversation three times with me um, but other than that she's good so I'll, I'll give you an update later in terms of how she's doing but I'll probably go and see her tomorrow and, and then the other thing I hadn't told you about so I went to the opticians on Friday I think I might have mentioned it in my last vlog so on Thursday after work I went to the opticians and um, it's always it's a nice it's a nice visit because my optician I kid you not is hot <laughs> it is so nice um, and you know I'm obviously when they're kind of coming in at you with the light shining in your eye and stuff I'm like oh yeah you know you can get as close to my head as you like he is absolutely gorgeous but he's a lovely guy with it as well so yeah so I had my it's probably the biggest thrill I'm gonna get and <laughs> for a long time so I'll take that um, but anyway it turns out that my eyes have changed quite a lot since my last visit so four years ago he prescribed me reading glasses and then the last time I went two years ago so 2017 there was not a lot really in terms of difference with them I'd notice a difference but he said it's not significant enough to change your prescription and then this time I've gone and I have noticed like driving in the dark particularly has become a little bit more problematic and then seeing the sat nav not that I can't see it but it's like the finer details such as you know looking for road numbers and I'll be squinting at it thinking is that um, a 62 or a 63 you know things like that so I actually need now a triple prescription can you believe it so I've got these lenses that have three in one so essentially I've got reading which is a different prescription to the middle bit which will give me more clarity when I'm doing laptop work and then also some uh, distance built in for when I'm driving so you can imagine how much they've cost and obviously I've gone for some nice frames because essentially I could wear these glasses all the time if I chose to so yeah so that's like my Christmas present to myself and then some so my um, my desire to spend will be somewhat curbed in the new year let's just say so anyway I am going to just get myself there it's about 20 minutes away from where I live the hairdressers so yeah I'm just gonna get myself to the hairdressers and I will catch up with you later take care see you soon hello how are you all doing I've had my hair done what do you think do you like it uh, so it's, she's cut into it a little bit more and it's a little bit more choppy so I'm kind of liking it. So I popped Tesco on my way back and got marzipan and things like that because I'm going to ice and marzipan my Christmas cake tomorrow. I've just picked up a couple of other bits that I'm going to now film a haul video so I'm going to do that now and then I want to go in the gym and I'm going to cook a sausage casserole. So you know when you've got a fair bit to do um i've just managed to sort my espresso machine out it's um it's been having a special moment and it's been leaking but it seems to have stopped it now so um oh i better stop that because my little cup's gonna overflow oh oh stop 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 <laughs> let me put my little chug out of the way oh it's all going stop leaking oh my days yeah drama so I thought I'd show you my filming setup because I've decided in my infinite wisdom that I want to do it in front of my tree so I'm going to show you that now so one of the viewers uh, was asking about the birds and she said she can always hear them in the background because she can never see them 
So I've got two pairs. I originally only ever had one. Um, these are my original ones. So this is Cupid and Bo and these were my parents but my mum's allergic to them. And you've got Coco and Chanel in there. So Coco, Chanel, Cupid and Bo because I got them on Valentine's Day. And they're all, they're all super friendly and they're all huddled in together. So Bo here, you'll see she's got a collar around her neck. So she's got bit of a skin condition and we put the collar around her neck to stop her she wants to sort of scratch and obviously they've got nasty beaks um, so we don't want her to peck at herself so the vet felt that would be a good idea I mean she'll be absolutely fine um, you know in a, in a few in a few days so that will be able to come off but there they all are they all really get on well um they love it in the Avery in the summer but they're just oh they're gorgeous they've all got their own little personalities they're hilarious i think they've been a bit camera shy at the minute <laughs> but anyway that's my little feather friends so i'm gonna get this filmed and then i'll catch you in a little while oh, i've finished filming oh my god look at the mess i've got all this to clean up now oh it's all right this film in malarkey but by goodness does it create a bit of a mess so yeah i'm gonna get all of this organized in a minute but i'm gonna put my dinner on first so dinner yeah i was gonna like brown the sausages but these are corn sausages and i never feel as though they brown off that well anyway so i am i've got a couple of packets of veg i've got my casserole mix and then i'm going to throw in there's eight sausages in each pack i'm going to throw in nine and this will do like three meals so i'll have three sausages um with the veg i think that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to see if it'll fit in the container first <laughs> anyway i'm just going to throw it in whatever There, it's in. Quickest dinner known to man. I decided just to use one packet of veg and one packet of sausages, so it'll do two nights. And I've got a spare sausage casserole mix, so I might do another one in the week next week. So yeah, I will catch you later. I'm gonna try and get in the gym now. Good morning, it's Sunday the 15th, and they were kinda of right. We have had a little cover. Oh, are you okay? Are you okay? We have had a little covering of snow overnight. It's not a lot, but uh, yeah, we'll see if Daisy goes off and enjoys it. Go and have a run in the snow. Go on. Snow day, it's cold, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> go on. Go and do a wee. Go on. I'll have to close the door. Do a wee. So I'm just trying to catch up with comments um, while I have my coffee here. I have got so far behind. So yeah, I'm going to spend the next probably hour or so just catching up um, with you guys on here. So I will, I'll see you in a little while. And five minutes later, true to form, I am being mithered by this one who is proceeding. Look at her, look at her. I'm trying to get the camera and she's trying to block my iPad so I can't write. She's attention seeking. Oh Daisy, you're a nightmare. You're a nightmare. <laughs> and now she'll be flipping back for a belly rub. Oh, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Daisy, get up. 
Hello, how are you? Um, I'm doing 101 jobs as usual. So I've got the washing machine going. I have got myself organized and sorted. I will be going across to my parents a little bit later today. I'm gonna to go and see my mum. She had her hip injection yesterday, which went quite well. So I'm gonna go and see how she's recovering. So I'm gonna bake them some banana bread to take across in a little bit. But first, I need to ice and marzipan my Christmas cake, or attempt to anyway. So I've been watching a fair few different YouTube videos this morning. I'm missing some of the tools, but I do have my hands. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But this is part of an upload that for you will be up on Tuesday. So I have filmed my whole cake making process from start to finish. So you'll see that on Tuesday, and obviously this will be up Friday. So that'll be, um, you'll be able to see that. So I'm gonna get myself organized and then start the filming process for the other upload. So I'll, I'll show you that in a, a wee while. So I'll catch you in a bit while I get set up, bye. So I've got the setup all done. So the camera's up on its uh, kind of special tripod so I can get it over the top of things. And then I've got all of my bits and pieces out. So I've got the cake, I've got the board, um, I'm cheating a bit, I've already got pre-rolled fondant icing, that could go either way. My marzipan and icing sugar for obviously dusting down the surface. I've got my apricot jam for sticking the marzipan to the cake. And then I've got my brandy out because you can either use boiled water or you know brandy to cover over your marzipan to make your fondant stick to it. So. That is a plan. Um, I will show you the finished thing in a little while. I'll catch you in a bit. This is the banana loaf I'm gonna make. So my friend made this for me when I went to see her a little while ago. So it's just basically um, like an allergen free, really nice mixture. So all you need to do is add some butter, a large egg, some cinnamon if you want, and then some um, bright bananas. So I'm gonna probably cut up three and stick some on the top just to make it a bit fancy. It takes about 45 minutes to cook. So I'm gonna put the oven on and uh, yeah, get this all ready. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you let me give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy. Right, so that's in. So that has to be baked for 25 minutes and then you cover it with tin foil and bake it for another 20. So in that time, I am gonna have a whiz round and get tidied up because it looks like a little bomb's dropped in here from my bacon. So yeah, I'm gonna get sorted. I just wanted to show you this mug. This is the one that I showed you in my um, shopping video the other day. Ah, look, it's turned. The Rudolph's nose turns different colours. It's gone red. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, gosh, so I've got my drink. I'm going to have a bite to eat. We are, what time are we on? Oh, it's about 10 to 3. I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm just going to make some a slice of toast i think and then this banana bread has got about 15 minutes to go oh that's my phone i'll be right back oh sorry about that that was just uh my mum just wondering what time we were gonna go so the plan is i'm just gonna have a bit of a chill out for half an hour i need to do a bit of housework as well and just keep the washing going and stuff like that but the cake will be done in about 10 minutes i'm going to let that cool wrap it up and take it with me i'm going to take this one into pets at home <laughs> to try and get her a coat so it'll probably be the case of where i try it on her in there leave it put her back in the car 
while I go and do a bit more shopping. So I need to get her something for Christmas. She's also run out of food and it's the food she likes, isn't it? So I need to pick up some of that. But at that point, she normally starts to create and I end up having to pick her up and an armful of dog and stuff in, in pets at home isn't great. So I'll probably take her back in a car, but yeah, I'll take her to, I'll take you to pets at home with us. Yeah, should we take the guys? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Oh, you're in a very licky mood. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye. Oh, it's out of the oven and I've just cut a little piece off to, to try and make sure it's okay before I take a, a sizable amount of it. So I'm going to keep maybe a slice or two for me for later. So I'm going to take the rest of this to my parents in a bit. So we'll see you in Pets at Home. Good morning. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Sorry, I am just backing off my drive. It is Wednesday the 18th of December. I have no idea how the hell we've got to this date. Everything is just going by in one big, massive work-related blur at the minute. It is hellish. So the last two days have been pretty much, well, the whole day's admin and extra stuff that I do with work. And it's relentless. It's absolutely relentless. So today we've got like really quite foggy, um, icy roads we've had a really hard frost last night and we're white over so just as I get off the estate roads I think the main roads will be a lot better than this it's starting to improve as I get further around where the road gets a bit busier but I feel exhausted so today and tomorrow are my my team so th these are my guys that I manage so it's their work Christmas do tonight and then we are in regional meetings um, all day tomorrow which involves me obviously organising and presenting and sorting all of that so I think I've just got enough capacity to get me across that finish line now because yeah I am I'm pretty much done so yeah I'm on the Beecham's cold and flu tablets because I, I definitely am coming down with something I just need a good sleep in you know when you just need a good sleep so I am um, on my way to the train station now so I'm getting the train into Sheffield which is where we're having the do tonight um, we're staying at the Leopold Hotel which I've heard is a nice boutique hotel I'm not sure I've booked it so I've got one of my team's end of year reviews to do that to do as I get there so I'm going to have a bite to eat with him do his end of year review get changed and head out so tonight we've got bowling planned so I'm meeting my team at five we've got bowling planned and yeah then we've got booked dinner in an Italian restaurant for everybody and then it's up to people what they want to do after that if people want to go to have more drinks or whatever they can how long I'll last I'm not 100% sure I'm hoping to you know put in a decent show for them tonight um, but we'll <laughs> see how it goes so I will no doubt catch you um, at some point soon see you later bye oh the train was a nightmare so there was a man and a baby sitting in my seat um, and I just didn't have the heart to move him um, so I ended up playing musical chairs with everybody else as they got on, so <laughs> not ideal. Um, don't you just hate it when somebody sits in your seat, especially when it's somebody who you really can't move. Um, so anyway, yeah, I finally got here. It was a trudge from the train station. You know, I'm in a right whingy mood. Anyway, I'm here. I'm going to give you a quick whiz around the room before I go and meet my team member to do his end of year. So yeah, it's, um, it's an okay room. Nothing spectacular, but it'll do for tonight. That's for sure. So you're coming through the main door and then you've got a desk with a mirror. I like a mirror to get ready in and do my hair on the morning. So I'm happy about that. At least we've got two nice long windows i don't think there'll be a view that we can see it's really foggy out there um let's have a look i think we'll be just looking into oh yeah just the the back of the bus station by the look of it and the building's nice there are some gorgeous buildings around here i have to say it's very very nice and then a nice big bed i love the blue i think the blue is such an attractive color so it's really pretty um yeah just a fairly standard room 
nice bit of artwork that is nice do you like that and then through into the bathroom so as you would expect uh Lou sink with some decent looking products on there that I'll have to have a look at and see if there's anything worth putting in my suitcase and then just a shower over the bath which is nice maybe I don't normally like having baths in hotels actually I was going to say I might have one but I don't think I will so I will catch you in a bit when I come back to get ready. Hello I just thought I'd come on and show you what I'm wearing so it's something you've seen before it's not it's not a new outfit but we are balling tonight so it's um yeah it just makes it that bit more tricky i didn't want to wear a dress and then put on the balling shoes because it's just it's not a good look <laughs> so i've just got my uh cardigan that i got from lipsy and then obviously my like covered jeans so they're like a leather effect covered jeans and then i've just got my glittery boots on from Matalan which I've had for yeah a year now and I'm just going to show you my makeup just come into the bathroom it's the lights a bit better in here but just to show you my eyeshadow so I've gone pretty light on the eyes because I'm, I'm tired I'm some dust upon the flu tablet so I'm, I'm a bit tired and I didn't want to make my eyes look even heavier than they are so it's just simple I'm going to go and meet the troops <laughs> turn into full-blown mother hen mode um you know they are adults after all but i don't know i still you know, they're like my kids i don't have kids but it's like i have 10 kids so i will be looking after those guys tonight hopefully we'll have a good night and if i can get any footage while i'm out i will if not i will see you when i get back <laughs> Good morning guys, it's now Thursday so I sadly didn't sleep very well last night I think it was a mixture I didn't drink a lot because I don't because I can't um but I did eat too much and obviously it's laid heavily on my stomach so it was a fairly late night I didn't get into bed till I want to say about half past one and then I was awake by four so I sort of laid in the bed for a couple of hours and I thought get up so I've just kind of had a bit of a it's slow, get ready, chilled out, a um, couple of hours in the room really, so I'm going to check out in just a minute. I'm just going to quickly run through the slide presentations I've got for the team and then head down to the room and, oh, it's the final countdown. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> We're all on Christmas, why do we do this? I don't know, but anyway... We're nearly there, so I'm quite pleased. Um, but yeah, I will no doubt catch you later to sign off the vlog. I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hello, it's Friday the 20th. So I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because after I'd finished, I was literally a spent force. I got on the train last night and oh, it's just just drained. I'm feeling an awful lot better um, than I was before I went because obviously, <laughs> God. I was going down with a bit what I thought was a bit of a cold debug but it seems to have gone. I think it's down to tiredness. So I think a weekend of sleep-ins and a bit of relaxation. There's not a lot going on this weekend. I am going to finish my Christmas shopping tonight. I'm working today so tonight I'm going to go and finish Christmas shopping. So I'll probably take you along to that. I'm picking up my glasses. <laughs> from the opticians a little bit later so I'll be able to show you those um, but I wanted to kind of come and conclude this week's vlogmas it's been a little bit quieter I think um, a bit more of a sedate week I'm going to show you my secret Santa gift that I got given I know who gave me this because I commented to the person who sent it to me that um, only a dog mummy would buy another dog mummy, another dog mummy, something like this. Um, so obviously Daisy got 
Christmas presents from um, my team member as well, which was just, it was just so cute. So I'm gonna show you those now. Daisy hasn't seen them yet. Um, and I wanna take a photograph for um, my team member to say thank you from Daisy for her. So uh, yeah, I will uh, show you these gifts. So I'll start with Daisy stuff because this is just too cute all pink for a little girly dog so she got me this little beco ball and basically it's a silicon travel ball this is such a good idea and then it just pops up um, so you can have it as deep and as big as you like but that's great if you go in uh, traveling anywhere and you just want to be able to give your dog a drink or feed it but that is is great and I'm sure we'll be using that for you know when we go places or from using at home we got some uh, um, kind of hypoallergenic sensitive salmon treats and then this really cute um, plushy toy um, which I'm going to give her in just a moment I got one of these DW candles so this is peony petals um, you get these from um, Home Sense and TK Maxx so that smells absolutely heavenly and obviously you know she clearly knows my passion for pink doesn't she um, one of the things I did request on my little wish list was this Mrs Hinch um, cleaning book so I'm delighted to have this because yeah I'll be able to share some tips and tricks um, through cleaning videos and things with you um, so I'm looking forward to curling up and having a, a browse through that over the Christmas break oh, I've got some minkies um, so I've got the M cloth so I've got the cleaning pads so there's um, kind of one of the antibacterial cleaning pads here and then she also got me the um, high tech duster so these are great for especially you know my glass surfaces that I've got my mirrored furniture up in my bedroom this will be great for that because obviously it's chemical uh, chemical free high tech duster so I'm looking forward to doing a bit of cleaning and getting some tips out of the book. So that's it um, for the week. I hope you have enjoyed uh, a more sedate, quieter vlog this week. Obviously, next week's vlog will include Christmas Day. So I'm gonna call it a day now because obviously I have to get this uploaded for you for this evening. So I will see you again on Tuesday. Take care, thanks for watching and all your support guys. Lots of love, bye for now. Bye.